This rare sighting has the power to make car aficionados go weak in the knees. This is a vintage Ferrari 250 GTO from 1963. Ferrari produced just 39 for collectors to swoon over. One traded hands for $52 million, making it the most expensive car ever sold. And if that's not enough to give your heart palpitations, maybe this will when car collector Tom Price takes his 250 GTO out on the track, it's uninsured. That's right, his insurance doesn't cover racing. So why take the risk? Well, Tom says this is what the car was built to do. For his sake, let's just hope he does it very, very carefully. This rust-covered convertible looks like a throwaway no one would want, but it's actually worth a half a million bucks. While it may not be obvious at first, this junkyard leftover has actually been fully restored, but only on the inside, reflecting a unique vision that's attracting a new breed of collector. The heart of what we do is finding that bridge of classic aesthetic, but modern comforts and conveniences. Jonathan Ward is the wizard behind Icon, company that transforms old clunkers into modern marvels. Their one-of-a-kind classics he lovingly calls derelicts. In reality, they're anything but. Take this recently overhauled 1950 Buick Roadmaster. Jonathan kept the exterior as is, without glossy paint to camouflage the car's natural aging process. It's like a good vintage cast iron pan, that natural oiled finish of years is actually the best finish. But under the hood is a different story. Jonathan has remastered this 70 year old ride into a contemporary hot rod. We decided to use a modern Corvette LS7, about 550 horsepower. A brand new engine to go with a specially curated interior, including this top grain cowhide from a tannery in Mexico. Plus all the creature comforts of a modern car. Tap on the center and you reveal your center control for navigation, voice to text, digital audio and all that fun. But to even get his hands on one of these vehicles, Jonathan has to first track it down and that can take years. A UPS driver actually discovered this Roadmaster in a dusty Arizona yard. We've had cars that have been stored for so long that they have hornet's nests by the thousands in them. It's all these stories that add value to the finished car. But unearthing these cars is nothing compared to the time-consuming custom detailing that goes into every project. In the works right now is this 1941 Cadillac Sedanette. A powerful V8 engine will be hidden under the hood and Italian leather will be wrapped around the inside. It'll take a year to complete and cost the owner close to 300 grand. They're kind of like onions. The longer you have them, you peel back the layers, you understand just how nuts we all are. And clients are nuts for Icon's creations. There's a list of some 30 affluent collectors waiting for Jonathan to breathe new life into their four-wheeled relics. Right now, their cars are just parked on his lot, lying in wait for a makeover like they have been for decades. Only the super rich would buy a brand new $150,000 Mercedes SUV, have it completely gutted, cut in half, shot at, and rebuilt into something unlike anything else on the road. And this is the guy they turn to to make their dream SUV a reality. It's all reconstructed in a way that it will look exactly like it came from the uh, dealership. Philip Daskal sells super rich clients options on their luxury cars that you could never get at a dealership. And his price for the Mercedes G63, $1 million. We stretched the vehicle by about 26 inches reupholstered the complete interior with the ultimate in luxury as well as electronics. The $10,000 paint job was barely dry on this custom limousine when we got an exclusive look at the finished product, even before the super rich client. Philip can't tell us the client's name, 
But the mystery buyer wanted this SUV to be the most luxurious vehicle that Philip had ever built. And now this is the highest quality in leather available. It's $10,000 per hide, and we used about three different hides. It's got every super rich accessory, from satellite TV to air filtration systems, even a hidden drawer that holds just one thing, a rare Mont Blanc pen. That's about a $10,000 option. But the upgrade that really jacks up the price? You can't see it, and you're not supposed to. Anybody who's walking can see that it looks exactly like a regular car until he taps on the glass. Very, very hard. It's not just the glass. The whole car has a secret. It's a level B6, which is protection against your AK-47, your high-power assault rifles. You heard him right. This luxury vehicle is AK-47 proof and can withstand some serious firepower. And Philips' team showed us how they test the materials they use to make the G63 bulletproof. <laughs> Philips' company, based in Toronto, turns everyday cars into luxury armored vehicles, a process that usually doubles the sticker price of the car. But this G63 is the first of its kind, which explains the hefty price tag. This is the most expensive one in the armored industry. The glass alone is 20 grand. The tires cost thousands. They can keep running even after getting a flat or being shot out. There are cameras mounted around the car that give 360 degree views from inside. And just in case you need it, there's a vault for a loaded pistol ready to fire. So what kind of super rich client needs this type of protection? Philip says he does a ton of business overseas. And in the U.S., it's a lot of what he calls celebrity types. The clients that come to approach us, they have, they have some sort of, I wouldn't say paranoia, but they're, they're scared for their life. Something else the super rich are scared of? Someone else having something they don't. When word broke of the $1 million G63 Super SUV, the orders started pouring in. To date, right now, we have about an order for 10 for 2015. You're looking at one of the most sought-after Ferraris ever created. It's called the Enzo, named after the company's founder, Enzo Ferrari. Only 400 were ever produced. You may have seen number 399, driven by Demi Moore. In the movie Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle. But at a recent auction, another Enzo was turning heads, number 400, the last one ever built. It was originally gifted to Pope John Paul II in 2005. Under the hood, there's a handwritten note from the chairman of Ferrari to His Holiness. And while the Pope never actually drove the car, he did bless it before the Vatican sold it for charity. On the market once more, the holiest set of wheels to ever cross the auction block has proven its value. Sold! Fetching six million dollars. The Pope's former supercar only has about 110 miles on it. And any Ferrari fanatic would call that a sin. The outside of this nondescript garage is dull and drab. But inside, there's every color of the Porsche rainbow. This is a 2007 GT3 RS in pure orange. This color is called Hellgelp. This particular car is called Ice Green Metallic. Vintage car dealer Aret Yelangian loves Porsches in eye-catching hues. Some he keeps for his collection. Others he's willing to part with the right price. This is an 05 Carrera GT. The silver ones will sell for around seven to eight hundred thousand. This car will sell for about one and a quarter million because of the color combination. Rare shades are worth more on the open market. But don't bother getting your Porsche custom painted because collectors much prefer factory originals from the hood to the wheel. There's no other 89 Speedster in this color. There were many bright red, black, silver was a popular color, but this one is the only yellow one. That's because back in 1989, a Porsche executive pre-ordered it in bumper-to-bumper -bumper bright yellow. 
We think in the next few years, this will trade for around half a million dollars. But these days, you don't have to be a company executive to ask the factory for a custom coat of paint. Porsche will paint your car to a specific color. You could give them a swatch and they will match that color. Obviously, you pay for the privilege. Though pricey, that privilege may be a bargain compared to the cost of driving one of these colorful classics out of this garage and into yours. What happens when you cross a skateboard with a motocross bike and a tank? Well, you get something like this. It's called the DTV Shredder, a super expensive all-terrain ride that can cost 120 grand when fully tricked out. This is a very high-performance piece of machinery. Ben Gulak invented this extreme sports vehicle in 2008. The base model sells for around 5,000 bucks, but that's a bargain compared to what the ultra wealthy are willing to shell out on them. You can spend a lot of money on these. It sounds crazy for something that's basically a skateboard with tracks. So what can make a shredder so costly? The Crown Prince of Dubai and his brothers bought three of them for about 300k. Pricey because they had the ride supercharged with an aircraft engine custom built in Germany. That took the top speed from 30 to over 60 miles an hour. When you put a 50 horsepower engine in it, it really starts to feel quite scary. The guy stepping out of the silver and black Rolls Royce is wealthy entrepreneur and car collector Anthony Andretti. Honestly, it's exactly what I envision. It matches the Rolls perfectly. Today, he's picking up two custom shredders. One designed to match his roles, and the other looks like his red and gold Lambo Murcielago. Now Anthony's having a third shredder customized to match his Lamborghini Gallardo. Total tab, about $120,000. I think the biggest high-profile project you have going on right now is the shredder we're building for Shaq. The seven-foot-one former NBA star needs his jumbo shredder 30% larger than the standard model. Price tag, 75 grand. But even Shaq will have to wait about six months for his custom shredder to be completed. Good things take time, and the best things are worth waiting for.